Good morning, it is the 15th of December and let's open some advents. So, as always, knit or die Oz first. Excited to see what this one is. Oh, tea. Peppermint and licorice. Interesting. What a fun blue. This is the hooded parrot. Let's first look at that blue. Look at that tone. It's so nice. Alright, so the hooded parrot is a parrot species native to semi-arid areas of the Northern Territory. Like most birds, the male is brightly coloured while the females and juveniles are duller in colour. The hooded parrot is one of only a few species of bird that nest in hollows made in termite nests. The adult birds dig tunnels roughly 80 centimetres long into the side of the conical termite mounds. It is thought that by doing this, the nests are protected from the extreme temperatures of the external environment. Oh, I love these bright colours right now. They're so much fun. Yesterday's green, this blue. This is awesome. All right, Oliver, Olivia and Oliver. Ooh, open that weird, but it's come straight out. Look at that green. Oh my God. This is another one I could have an entire jumper of or a summer singlet, but in silk. That, that's what this is. So this is the inspo picture. Oh, oh God. How do I say this? Connote it kill or C note. I think it's connote. Connote it kill is a natural sinkhole located near the Chitsun Itza. It has a depth of 48 meters or 157 feet. And in order to reach the water, you need to climb down 26 meters or 85 feet. At some point in history, Itkil was part of the main city of Chitsun Itza, who considered the water sacred and used the canoe for human sacrifices. Awesome. Such a beautiful picture. Oh, this is stunning. So beautiful. Oh, love. I actually had no idea about Olivia and Oliver before I bought their advent. So it's not like I'm a like a regular customer of theirs, but I think I'm going to have to become one. Their work is incredible. All right, Lush. We're onto the bottom layer because we've taken two at a time. Hello, can you get? And let's go. One, two. Oh. Look at how much fun that is. All right, let's find Shoot for the Stars bath bomb. Citric acid, fair trade organic cocoa butter, Brazilian orange oil, bergamot oil, water, creamed coconut, almond oil, cornstarch. Mmm. Fun. And then I got the Jolly Shower Gel. Let's put this one down. We're into the shower gels now. It's exciting. So this is the Jolly Shower Gel. It's covered in bath bomb dust. This is have a holly jolly hot shower with warming cinnamon, invigorating cloves, and a dash of uplifting orange juice. This is the one that I liked the smell of. Yep, I liked the smell of that. Most, mostly like the smell of this. Um, where are you gonna go? You can go to the back. All right. I have one more thing to show you today because I'm really behind. time this is going to be on time because i am so late in opening these i haven't even knit up the other one i'm running behind um this is the 12 day of minis by wool and works and oh that's fun that's a nice color look at that today's color is cinderella perfect 
That is gorgeous. So I need to hurry up and knit up the other one and then knit up this one. Um, like I said, I'm definitely running behind, but hopefully not after today. <laughs> All right, have a wonderful Wednesday and I'll see you soon. Hey ya, I just got home. I now have a tattoo right here. I'm crinkling from all the, um, what do you call it? Glad wrap, cling wrap that's around me right now. Um, but on the way home, I quickly grabbed the mail and I got a mail from Mel from Down Under Dyer. And I was like, what the heck? I haven't ordered anything because I'm still waiting on all my other stuff to come. And we know I'm not meant to be ordering anything for next year. And then I opened up this card and she just said, it's been so wonderful to get to know you. Thanks so much for your support. And just what a beautiful card. Not only did I get a stunning card, I got presents. So I didn't, haven't even opened these. Like I opened it up to this much. So I know there's yarn, but that's as far as I opened it. Cause I was like, no, I'm going to get home and open with you guys. Because how cute. So, dear Astrid, Merry Christmas from Mel. I got a little Toblerone. And I got oh my, two of them. I got two Toblerones. Okay, two Toblerones is already a good start. This is like a little... Oh, it's a... um. What's your call? Bauble. I can use words. It's a little Christmas bauble. And let's have a look at the reds. So this is Jolly Good Red. And that is a great red. And this one here is Christmas Special. Christmas Speckle. Christmas Speckle. And again, that's beautiful. Yay! All right, I'm going to rewrap these, put them in nicely. Other after I just destroyed them. And they're going to go on my eucalyptus wall Christmas tree thing. Thank you so much, Mel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm throwing tablerons. I got it. Um, thank you so much. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm just now going to edit. I've done day 14 because it's not much, but day 13 I actually did some painting. So I wanted to show you. So I'm going to edit day 13 now and then I'll upload both and then I'll probably upload this one as well. And can I put this? Oh, done. Oh, so cool. Thank you, Mel. I appreciate you and this so much. All right. I'm going to go knit and watch Selling Sunset. I think I'm almost finished. I'm going to make some chicken for dinner. And then I'm going to eat ice cream and knit. That's all I'm really planning on. I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye.